To me, it means celebration and reunion and a lot of fun and the opportunity for connection. It's a chance to, I think, reflect on where black people at Bowdoin specifically have been, but also anybody who's engaged in black study and black intellectual discourse at Bowdoin and where yeah. we're headed. And I think it's a time for us to realize and recognize the power that we have both here on campus and beyond. Many of the biographies of African-American figures come out of African-American studies because that's the place that said, oh, that's interesting, as opposed to just ignoring it. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing, to see the importance of the subject. Okay, I remember calling home Brian to my aunt senior year saying, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't want to be a doctor. Like, you know, this is not what I really want. I, I want to be, I want to express myself in doing it in, in unconventional ways, which for where I grew up in the South, you know, a lot of the programs that we're, we're in push black people into being a lawyer, being an engineer. Like those were the only ways for you to be successful. That's the only way that you will be seen if you were had this type of establishment. You know? Like one of the first times really that decades of classes of black students, black alum from Moden, get to come together and meet physically for the first time hear about each other's experiences and really build the relationships a lot of us have honestly been longing to build. I think the African American just center for a lot of black students was a place to build home, was a place to feel, to have some sense of sanity at Bowdoin. Um, and I think a lot of us are kind of reminiscing in that this weekend while we're here.